So here we go with another 29 inch wheel bike. The, the Ghost. Ghost. Woo! <laughs> SL AMR X9 LC29. But I it's think. It's a mouthful it, of a bike. But it kind of looks like Slammer when you look at it real yeah, quick. It so does look so like let's slammer. say the Ghost Slammer. Yeah, we'll um, 150 front, 140 rear. Are we going to start with climbing or descending? <laughs> climbing. The climb switch on that shock is cool because you can. It's not just off and on. You mm -hmm. can adjust it anywhere between in that stroke, even though there aren't designated clicks. Um, so you can sort of get it to be as uh, cushy or pedal efficient as you want, mm -hmm. which I rode it on this course, which is pretty chunky climbs. Um, I rode it like three quarters stiff, essentially, mm -hmm. and uh, very efficient. Yeah. I like the way it climbs. I ha I've, I'm in a descent here. Okay. I had to have it all the way on. I all mean, the way, all, like I'm all sorry. the way pedally. Pedal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More pedaling. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> so almost every bike we've been testing have been a some sort of a one by eleven, one by twelve setup, and those low gears are getting super low. This one was an XT, predominantly XT drivetrain, yeah. mm -hmm. forty six tooth, uh, grainy gear in the rear, and a lot of times on these other bikes, I would be a gear maybe two down from there, and like I was climbing up today, and I hit the wall. Like I was like in oh, that lowest interesting. gear. Yeah. Do yeah. you have any idea of why that was? I don't. When I was shifting at the beginning of the climb, I wasn't like this is a coil shock bike. I needed to be in the granny gear. Right. Like I just happened to get to the end of it, and that was the end of it. So, <laughs> I uh, yeah, and I, maybe I'm alone on this, but uh, but it, it was a little bit of a push to get this thing up the hill for me. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe like we had some other 140 bikes that were more efficient on the climbs. Yeah. But I don't know. I thought that with the bigger wheels, uh, this thing rolled over stuff really well. And I had a really good time. Like it just gave me that confidence. Like when I was coming down the trail, I was, I felt confident and I, I liked the 36 on the front. Mm -hmm. um, I, I liked dial, being able to dial that in and, uh, and the tires. I like the magic Mary on the front. Mm -hmm. That, that was a nice option. There was a Hans Domp on the back, which isn't my favorite, but yeah, whatever. I mean, it, it was a pretty smart build on yeah. it you know there, there wasn't anything that really stood out i mean the gearing maybe that's not going to be for everyone but i mean nice cockpit setup with the uh, race face bar and stem combo mm -hmm. um like you said the tires and um but you but sounded it, surprised when i when i said that i liked the way it descended yeah it felt like i i started in i saying it's a little vanilla you know it's like it's just 67 degree head angle it's a bit shorter than the other bikes which gives it a shorter wheelbase mm -hmm. And it just kind of seemed a little, a couple of years ago. No, I totally agree. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah the numbers on this were not my favorite numbers. Yeah. I mean, the, the chain 138 chain stay. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's the, one of the longer <laughs> chain stays in, in the whole uh, test, yeah. you know? The reach yeah. is also kind of on the short side, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. 444. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty short. Yeah. So the, the, the two most important things for the maneuverability of a bike to me. Yeah, like rear center, front center. Yeah, like we're, we're a little bit off. But okay. I felt possibly the most comfortable on the really rough sections on this bike. Interesting. I, I did mean, too, I, and I felt like it really fit me. I didn't know like beforehand how short the reach was, and, mm -hmm. and I, <clears throat> I was really comfortable on the bike. I actually rode um, another bike a couple months ago that was surprisingly short, and I felt surprisingly comfortable mm -hmm. on it, which sort of led me to believe I created my own new theory that like bikes are getting out of hand in their length. And I kind of like, you know, not not having to run a 35 mil stem, mm -hmm. you know. But all in all, I mean, I, I didn't, I wasn't bored, or f I didn't think this bike was a vanilla at all. I just thought it was capable and a ripper. It was. It felt balanced, yeah. but you know, for me, it wasn't. It wasn't a standout. You know. Okay. It, it just kind of. It just kind of felt like it was. Uh, just doing its thing. Doing its thing, not making, not yeah, just not making pressure. any noise. Yeah. Maybe kind of like a uh, ghost or something. Maybe like a ghost. <laughs> uh, I also kind of expected this thing to be a little heavier than it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty beefy build. Yeah, aside from the coil shock, alloy bars, alloy wheels, alloy rear triangle, mm -hmm. but it's it's about thirty and a half pounds or so, which isn't bad. Yeah, again, like travel numbers or whatever. It, it, yeah, it's a cool travel number for a 29er mm -hmm. yeah because like 150 160 we're seeing more of those pop up in 29ers um and they can get just a, li a little bit out of hand sometimes totally um yeah and yeah i, li I like this this kind of number for 
for a 29er. And I mean, it's a really good value. 5,800 bucks for the build we were riding. I know, like, you know, it's hard to argue with that. Really. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's, like, it's expensive, yes, but it's got a lot of really good stuff on it. I, I, I wasn't blown away by the value, personally. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just, for like, when I say, when I hear 5,800, I hear six grand. And mm -hmm. when I see yeah, six grand, right. <laughs> okay. you know, I, I expect carbon rims. I maybe even expect Eagle. I mean, I, yeah, I expect carbon that's bars. True. You do like in six, when you get up to, it, it is almost six grand. Mm -hmm. And when you do get into that number, you're looking at some Eagle drivetrains yeah. and things. This now, is XT, which mm -hmm. is a lot cheaper than mm -hmm. the Eagle X01 and XX1 mm -hmm. groups. Also keep this, keep in mind, Ghost is distributed exclusively through REI. Yeah. You buy this at the end of the year, you get your 10% uh, dividend back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who's this bike for, do you think? I mean, um, uh, I think, I think it's for a enduro racer who likes uh, slightly steeper angles. Totally. Because maybe that's somebody who's like, tried. I like steeper bikes. Yeah. And if you know you like sort of relatively, see, I mean, it's not, it's not steep by any real measure but it's steeper than a lot of bikes in like a, an enduro bike category right mm -hmm. but i feel like it's pretty capable still so totally if, you, if you're a person who likes steeper angles maybe this is for you and you like bump eating supple suspension that a coil shock can give you yeah if you're mm -hmm. happy with where bikes are geometry wise now but you want something with a little more cutting edge suspension setup this thing nails it absolutely sure. yeah. yeah all right boys let's go for a swim or something on to the next. On to the next. <laughs>